Hey everybody, Eric Larson, Patriot Pressure Washing again, 678-263-7145. I uh, listened to my son finally, we got three boys, my youngest is about to turn 25, but uh, videos speak a lot more volumes than me just saying it, and I have to agree with them off of the response we've had here lately, on Facebook, YouTube, our website, uh, he's probably right. Now, a couple of the responses have been wanting to see the entire process. Uh, Jonathan told me to try to keep it short and to the point, so most of my videos are like a minute long. Uh, I'm going to do the entire process on this one, so yippee for me, I get to talk, and I love talk. Let me grab my wand real quick and we'll get started. Hey everybody, I'm back. I guess that took about 10 seconds to get down to the bottom. I'm going to do just this top section uh, so you're not here all day. Uh, the majority of you aren't going to watch this video because it's just too long, but this is for the people that have sent me some messages that, uh, you know, they, they prefer to see the entire process, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, these shingles are, are in pretty bad shape. When we got contacted, these are new residents, and he was told that his roof was cleaned four years ago. Now, the thing people don't seem to realize is that it generally takes, once your roof uh, begins, it, it's got the algae, and this is airborne, so the bird, your neighbor's house is nasty, the bird lands on his roof, it flies to yours, you now have it. No way of getting around it. This stuff is, and it grows so rapidly. So, I mean, we all have it. If you haven't had a roof cleaning in five years, you have it. What it is, is it generally takes about four years. And that depends on your situation, too, your tree cover, your shade, moisture, and humidity. But the general rule of thumb is year four is when you'll begin to see it visibly from the ground with a naked eye. So when you begin to see that first streak, it's not, oh, my God, we've got the roof algae. It's, oh, my God, it's been on there for at least four years eating my shingles. For it to become totally engulfed like this roof, uh, this is usually around year eight or so. Uh, five or six, the streets begin getting larger and then fully engulfed and being eaten uh, aggressively. This has probably been eight years since this one's been cleaned properly. I believe we're almost good. Can y'all see that difference? See all that pretty gray coming out, no longer jet black? And that's why I only did half the roof. This is what the roof used to look like. And this is what the roof looks like now. Maybe you can see that side by side right there. To the left, all black. To the right, we're getting some gray. This is not our finished product, but you can easily see that this is doing its job. We'll leave this on here for about 15 minutes, and then we simply spray it off. Uh, we can use your garden hose. Uh, you know, if you want, but our pressure is, is actually less than the pressure. Uh, most city waters you know, are in the 60 to 100 range. Uh, some counties have very good water pressure and people have to put pressure regulators on their house so they don't blow their pipes which is a reason that I use if you can see that a PVC one I hate that thing to be honest with you I have to change them at least two or three times a month one of us steps on it it gets dropped from a ladder uh, they break non-stop cost me about I don't know 20 22 dollars for each one between all the brass fittings uh, the quarter inch connectors I mean, it's just, it's miserable. Where I could use a metal wand. Metal wands are associated with pressure washing. I show up on a job with a PVC wand and everybody knows I can't use more than about 100 PSI or that thing will blow apart. I'm only using, uh, for this one, I think I got the air compressor set on 60 PSI. Um, so absolutely no damage. Uh, I can spray directly on the shingle forever. I can put the wand down and, and walk away is no damage not going to hurt granules at all very very safe and this is an end result here obviously that one's going to take another treatment that's treatment too you see where the black is now turned to the yellowy brown look uh, it did about half of its job and it's going to need another treatment we'll get to that here in a few minutes this side right here is a beautiful pretty gray all right back to this this is a beautiful, pretty gray now. Uh, it's wet, obviously. That's where you're getting a little bit of that the shiny dark color coming from. 
Let me see if I can get up close and personal. See that? No more mold, no more algae. I'll convert, I'll finish this roof. I only did half, so I can show y'all. See that right there? Half nasty, half gorgeous. I hope this helps all the people that were still undecided on the entire process. But this is it. It's not fancy. Our equipment is very expensive, but the process is not fancy. I simply spray the cleaning solution on, wait 10 or 15 minutes, let it do its job, and I simply rinse it back off. Let it dry to an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous finish. This guy's, he probably will drive right past his home when he gets home because he's so used to having black shoes. And he's gonna have a beautiful gray roof when he gets home from work. 678-263-7145. Uh, I'm kind of an old fella. I say I'm, I'm the time of before Atari. So I'm kind of new to all this YouTube and fancy videos. But Hope it wasn't too long winded. If you have any additional questions, please call us. Uh, we're probably up on a roof. Leave us a voicemail. I'll respond as soon as I get down. Um, but I hope this answers the majority of your questions. One other thing before I let you go we are having reports of, uh, and it's sad, but this is the world we live in. Just because you ask somebody over a telephone, are they licensed and insured? That means pretty much absolutely nothing nowadays. Because apparently, a couple of them have been busted on some of our online sources you know, that we use for lead generation, the home advisors, the thumbtack porches, etc., etc. So, if you ask somebody that's coming to your home, are you licensed and insured? Uh, apparently, that means absolutely nothing. So, anytime you allow someone on your property to do a job, whether it's a roof or landscaping or whatever. They, they have to be licensed in a shirt. That covers you. They fall off of a ladder, you get sued. <laughs> we live in the age of litigation. Figure that one out. Uh, they can say that you you gave them unsafe work environment. And yes, it's happened. You have to hire somebody licensed in a shirt. So when you ask them that and they say yes, you just simply let them know that when they arrive, you would like to see proof of that. And that'll either scare them to death or they'll go out and become legal. Uh, we keep it in our truck at all times, so don't fall for the, oh, I left that at home. That's ridiculous. My business license is on me, just like my driver's license and my wallet. It, it stays in the truck and it's full. Anyway, that's probably enough. I hope this is less than eight minutes, but for those few people that I've talked to this week that wanted to see everything other than a, a rinse, that's everything. Have a great day. Eric, Patriot Pressure Washing, 678-263-7145.